The three people confirmed dead after a chemical plant exploded this weekend in Illinois were all from Kenosha County. 29-year-old Alan Stevens of Paddock Lake, 53-year-old Byron Bean of Brighton, and 57-year-old Jeff Cummings of Kenosha. They're still looking for a fourth person presumed dead. New attend Rebecca Clough talked to Jeff Cummings' friends about his heroic final act. Rebecca. Stephen Carroll, the Waukegan fire chief, says the people who died in the explosion died trying to get their co-workers out. That includes Jeff Cummings. His best friends and his motorcycle club, Patriots MC, says Jeff would have done anything to help someone else. The tragic explosion in Waukegan, Illinois, had friends of Jeff Cummings fearing for the worst, including one of his best friends from his motorcycle club, Donnie Paulson, who's also a Waukegan police officer. He was called to work the blast. His truck was still on scene, and then I had heard he was unaccounted for. Donnie couldn't believe that the man he knew for nearly two decades, who he called a brother, could be gone. I'm thinking that um, there's still someone in there. It took two days before Jeff was found dead. Not surprising to his friends, they learned Jeff was one of the people who went back into the plant to get people out before it blew up. Jeff was one of the people that ran back into the building. You know, they're calling Jeff a hero. He is. This is a guy that would give you the shirt off his back. Wouldn't only give you a shirt, he'd give you his pants, his tennis shoes, his socks, whatever you needed. Now there is a donation page set up for the family. Jeff leaves behind a wife, son, and grandson. The family did not want to go on camera tonight, but they wanted to thank all the Waukegan first responders who helped. Stephen Carroll. Just heartbreaking. Rebecca, thank you.